But I- anyone who's who's been watching Russia and been looking at at Putin's actions for the last 22 years knew that this was on his agenda. Well, yeah. I mean, this is a guy who it was, was just the a matter head, of time. He was the head of the KGB when it was still the Soviet Union, and it has been his mission to reestablish the the Soviet Union. Yeah. And so by invading Ukraine, it's and this is the thing that that has become very annoying to me is how many people who say they're conservatives are like, meh, who cares? I mean, Russia, I mean, is Russia wrong? Why do we care about Ukraine? I mean, I, I don't know what kind of world history they were taught in school. Sure. But this is, this is a dire situation. This is a situation which, if you, you know, if he can invade Ukraine under the theory, which if you listen to his speech from a few days ago, he sounds like a madman. I mean, this is Hitler, okay? Um, well, let's, and, let's, let's not start comparing people to Hitler just yet. I mean, he's, he's very calculated. He knows I'll bet, exactly I'll bet what I'll in the last 22 doing. years he's probably killed, I don't know if it's 6 million people, but he's killed a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, he's a brutal dictator. That, that um, is true. And, and he's basically said... And that's why Russia- this should not be surprising to anybody. Well, exactly. That's the thing that drives me crazy, is that this is not a good guy. This is not an ally. This is not... But, but then why have we had so many presidents going back to, you know, even, even uh, I guess, even Bill Clinton, trying to placate this guy? You know, know, you know, George W. Bush made a comment. He said, I, I, I met with Putin and I, and I saw into his soul. That's impossible. You can't see into somebody's soul who has no, no. soul. You and I had a soul. discussion with our, our, our friend, Pastor Frank, earlier this morning about this very issue. And this, the, idea, the spiritual aspect of this is very interesting when you consider it, that evil exists. Yeah. And, and absolute evil exists absolutely. And Vladimir... Putin is an evil man, has been since since he's ascended to power. An ex KGB I, I thug, mean, as you've said, evil when he was a KGB. Exactly. KGB. And so, why should this be surprising <laughs> to anybody? Um, several years ago, was very interesting. Um, uh, as you know, I'm a member of the organization, Young Presidents Organization, and we had an analyst from at that time the American Enterprise Institute, uh, Michael Oslin. I don't know if you know Michael. Goes by the name of Misha Oslo. Very uh, like a Russian, I yeah, yeah, almost like a, a Russian thing. But he he came and spoke to one of our meetings, and I got two reactions by his predictions. And this was shortly uh, before the invasion of Crimea, and he predicted that that after the the Olympics were done in Russia at that time, that they would go into Crimea with the ultimate goal of eventually uh, taking Ukraine. And his whole rationale was this has been part of Putin's uh, mode of operating and his stated goal since he came to power. And everybody, there was two reactions to his entire presentation. One, it was the most depressing presentation that they'd ever heard. Two, it was the best presentation they'd ever heard because it was so honest. And now all this is coming to fruition. Yeah, he was right. And and, and his, his point was Putin is very patient. He's, he's going to be very patient in, in trying to reclaim his authority over what he th- thinks is rightfully Russia. Well, uh, yeah, he is, he's patient, and he is willing to, to revise history. Because the, uh, this whole idea that the Ukraine is basically just Russia um, is not true, historically. I mean, if you, you have to go back pretty far. But there were, there were I mean— there were rulers in Ukraine, it wasn't called Ukraine then, in about a thousand years, 988, that decided that they were going to become part of Christendom, and so they are all baptized. And, you know, over the course of decades and hundreds of years, you know, this thing is, this area has gone back and forth with control. Russia didn't get any it wasn't a part of this discussion until the late 1600s and it wasn't until 
the late 1700s that they actually asserted some power over this area. So they're... Well, in this area, I mean, is so rich. In, I, mean, I mean, for years it was Russia's breadbasket. Yeah. Right? It, was, it was the USSR's breadbasket until it imploded. And, and it's so naturally resource-rich, right. which is the designs that Putin has on. I mean, Moscow was a forest until 1200. I mean, and, and Kiev was a bustling metropolis for a thousand years before that. Yeah. Um, so it just strikes me as <clears throat> insane that he just wants to take the modern history and say, oh, well, they're a part of us. And we're just defending on what's our, that's that's like us going, you know what, we're going to take over England because really, you know, they're a part of us. You know, we 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 fought our independence and now we're going to we're going to bring well, them back in. You could even make a larger leap and, and say it'd be like us uh, looking at what is happening on our southern border and say, you know, in order to secure our country, we should invade Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 the larger league. Right. Yeah. We we need to secure a country and and what's happening down in in Mexico. We don't agree with and we think there are is a strategic interest in us invading to protect the Americans who live in Mexico. We're going to invade invade Mexico. 